Hello, and welcome to a little lecture on anorexia nervosa. Many people wonder what exactly anorexia nervosa is. Well, it's a mental disorder where someone has an intense fear of gaining weight. Some of the symptoms are that they weigh a lot less than is healthy or normal, they're afraid of gaining weight, refuse to stay at a normal weight, and think that they're overweight when they're very thin. Some of them even, like, usually, they obsess about food, weight, and dieting, they strictly limit how much they eat, and they exercise a lot even when they're sick. And sometimes, they vomit or use laxative or water pills to avoid weight gain. Many things cause anorexia nervosa. It's, um, not just caused by one thing. Some of them are genetic vulnerability, family situation, a lot of problems, or if they're highly anxious children who like a really controlled environment. Many people wonder, is low self-esteem common in anorexia nervosa? Well, it is. People with anorexia usually have such high achievement goals and unrelenting standards that they feel down when they can't reach them. Men, um, some of them are at the top of the class, sports captains, and other high-achieving things because they have such a great fear of failure. This looks like a lot of stuff, and you can pause it if you want to read all about it. But basically what it's saying is that for treatment, the cognitive behavioral therapy is mostly used. What this does is it helps a person change their irrational thoughts to make them think um, better about eating behaviors and goal setting, and then they help them by giving them rewards. So some medication treatment for anorexia is that um, they many psychologists will um, will recommend antidepressants or sometimes estrogen to help gain weight. So many famous people have had it, but I'll just point out a few today. So Princess Diana of Wales had bulimia, and she explained it as filling up her stomach four or five times a day because it was very comforting, and then when you look at your stomach and realize how bloated it is, then you throw up and you just do it over and over, and she described it as being very destructive to herself. Karen Carpenter had it. She's a singer from like the 80s, I think. And Christy Henrich, she wanted to be an Olympian with on the US gymnastics team, and she was told that she needed to lose weight and she became anorexic and died of multiple organ failure due to anorexia at the age of 22. So there are a lot of statistics about anorexia, and a few of them are that 5 to 20% of teens with anorexia will die because of the disorder. It's the third most common chronic illness among adolescents. Over one half of teenage girls and nearly one third of teenage boys use unhealthy weight control behaviors like skipping meals, fasting, smoking, cigarettes, vomiting, and taking laxatives to help themselves lose weight. And only 5% of American females actually naturally possess what is advertised in the media today as the natural good looking body type and 47% of girls in 5th to 12th grade are reported to wanting to lose weight because of magazine pictures. And 69% of girls in 5th to 12th grade think that magazine pictures are the idea of a perfect body shape. 42% of 1st to 3rd grade girls want to be thinner. That is insane. It's like 6 to 9 year olds. Some of them want to be thinner. And quite a few percentage of 10 year olds are afraid of being fat. So something we need to remember as we think about anorexia nervosa is that it's, it's a mental disorder that someone has. It's not who they are. So 
something that's good is to not just say they are, you know, they that person, the, who they are on the, you know, who they are is anorexic. It's what they have. And if we keep catch the, um, the treatment early enough, we can help other people do it. So, you know, help them recover from it. So tell people what they're worth. Bye.